Salem Tiger Basketball on KSMO Radio and online at KSMORadio.com. Tiger Basketball is being brought to you as a courtesy of your community health center, K&H Auto Supply, Town and Country Bank, the Salem Memorial District Hospital, Country Mart, Farm Bureau Insurance, the Bank of Salem, Napa Auto Parts, Fairground Auto Plaza, Progressive Ozark Bank, Southwest Baptist University of Salem, Town and Country Insurance, the Common Grounds Bistro, Larson Collision Center, Commissioner Dennis Purcell and Family, the City of Salem, Tax Masters, Riverways Federal Credit Union, Duncan Family Chiropractic, Conway Construction, and Your World Today. Now, Tiger Basketball next on KSMO and online at KSMORadio.com. And good evening. Welcome to the Salem High School Gym. It's Salem Tiger Basketball on KSMO and Fidelity Local 6 as the Salem Tigers will take on the Mountain View Liberty Eagles tonight in another SCA contest. Hey, I'm Stan Stevens bringing you the action from the Salem High School Gym. Glad that you could join us on KSMO and on Fidelity Local 6. The Mountain View Liberty Eagles are dressed in their all red uniforms with the gray sleeve trim. And uh, that's interesting. And that uh, some of those uh, have them on their on their warm-up jerseys. Otherwise, it's just a red uniform with just a white stripe on the side. I don't think I've ever seen these uniforms before with the black number. So we'll see how this plays out tonight as the Salem Tigers will come in and try and get their sixth win of the year in their first SCA win. They lost at Sayre on Tuesday night after getting off to a very slow start, 30-10. to 10. They actually played the Bobcats even and actually beat them by one point in that second half and lost the game 52-33. to 33. Mountain View has had a good season, but it's been an up-and-down season, and you just never know with this team uh, how well their shooting is. It's a team that Salem Tigers have upset in the past before. They uh, are usually a very athletic team, and the Tigers will have to be at the top of their game to uh, get the win here tonight at home. For the Salem Tigers, they'll be starting out Dawson Conway, Reese Dotson, Jordan Chilton, Hayden Wilson, and Carter Chilton. For Mountain View Liberty Eagle, Andrew Holden will be at center. Colton Foster will be on the left side. On the right side will be Broyden Kanega. At guard, they're going to have Landon Cooley. And I believe the other guard is going to be uh, Colton Weldon. So we'll move forward from there. You're ready to go. Actually, it's going to be Zach Stretch, so we're going to have Stretch out there instead of that. All right, let's go. Let's go. Jordan Schultz will tip it off against Holden, and it comes back to the Salem Tigers. The Schultz gets it back to Carter Chilton. Just underway here, a nice crowd on hand as the temperatures have warmed up as Carter Chilton gets it at that high post on the right side, flipping it back out on top to Dotson. He'll get it back to Conway. Conway out high, back to Dotson. Inside the Carter Chilton at that free throw line to Conway. Across to Dotson. Salem County getting that ball on the perimeter. As Wilson is taken really out of the play by holding the Carter Chilton, the jump shot is up and good from the free throw line. Tigers have moved Carter from the down low spot out to that high post, and he hits the two. 7.23 to go just underway here. And this is the first quarter as Foster gets it down low. Tennis for Kanega. He puts it back out, and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be long to the Salem Tigers. Kanega struggled that ball, flipped it out for Landon Cooley, but Cooley couldn't get to it. First turnover belongs to Mountain View. We're glad you're along on this Friday night. Hope you got a great weekend in store for us. Weather-wise, it should be incredible. As Tilton gets it in to Dawson Conway, Mountain View falling back mostly in a half-court defense. That goes inside the Chilton down low to Jordan Schultz, and he has fouled as he goes up to try and bank it in, and Colton Foster will pick up that foul. Tigers have changed their offense a little bit for this game. Kind of going into a 2-1-2 offense, but moving in off the sides and having the man at that high post. But Schultz will shoot the free throw, and Jordan's first one, it is good. Jordan's game has just improved greatly after the first of the year. He has been in, I think, double figures every game 
since then. He gets that free throw. 4 nothing. Salem Tigers. Ash Stretch will get it. Zach Stretch will bring it up the floor on the right side. Salem in a half-court defense. Getting into Foster. Out on top. Holden. Holden. Down low to Kanega. Kanega on that baseline. Shot blocked there by Schultz. And that is another part of his game that has really improved. Jordan's been averaging three block shots a game. Inbound from Stretch to Holden. Holden on the left wing. Out of high to Cooley. Cooley between the circles down to Kanega. Kanega back to Cooley. Thought about the three. Now gets it over to Stretch. Down low to Holden. Holden turns off the glass. And it trickles in. Andrew Holden at 6'6". He's a tall one out there. Tigers have it in the offensive zone. It's Dotson out near center court. Hangs on to it. Right side pass to Hayden Wilson. Wilson looks right. Goes all the way across the court. That's not a good place to go. And a foul is going to be called on either Stretch or Dawson. One of the two. As they collided, they're going to call it on Mountain View. Ball way too much air underneath it when Hayden Wilson tried to go across the court. Salem got a break on that one. As Dotson came back to the ball and Stretch ran into him. Pass to Hayden Wilson on that right wing, right in front of the Mountain View bench. Bounce pass down low to Jordan Schultz. Goes underneath, out to Conway from 12. His shot's too hard. Tipped underneath. It goes out of bounds off of Hayden Wilson. It'll belong to Mountain View Liberty. Salem in her home whites with the navy blue numbers and the navy blue striping on the side of the hip and underneath the armpit. Stretch for Mountain View. A lot of red out there to Kanega. Back to stretch. The jumper's up. It is no good. Caught by Carter Chilton under control. Underneath the basket as he captured that one. Getting it off to Dotson. Dotson in the offensive zone to Hayden Wilson. Thinks about the three. Doesn't take it. Hayden gets a little back off there from number 24. And that's Foster. Back on top. It goes to Dotson, to Conway, to Dotson. Dotson inside to Carter Chilton, to Hayden Wilson. Trying to draw two Mountain View Liberty players to him. He does. Inside to Carter Chilton, a jumper from the free throw line is short. Tipped underneath the basket of Jordan Schultz, and he puts it in. Schultz with a rebound, banks it in, and the Tigers go up 6-2. to two. Foster will bring it into the offensive zone to stretch between the circles, left side. Goes into the corner to, to hold it. Hold it. The Kanega trying to dance down the lane. Shot is up no good as Schultz got in his way, and then Carter Chilton breaks down that rebound. Long pass to Wilson. Trying to get it underneath. Stolen away, though, by Holden as he came back as Hayden Wilson hesitated just ever so slightly, giving enough time for Mountain View to hit back in position. Stretch gives it off to Foster. Foster out high, guarded by his counter number. Hayden Wilson, number 24, with the ball, Cooley. Cooley. Trying to get away from Dotson. Trying to take it inside. Down low to Kanega. Kanega off the glass and in. Throwing to Kanega. He's a big boy out there. He plays football. He's a large sized lad. Pass over to Dawson Conway. Back to Dotson. Dotson thinks about the three. Takes it. It's off the rim. It's brought down by Zach Stretch. And back comes Mountain View. Long pass underneath. Shot blocked there by Jordan Schultz again on the little reverse layup attempt. And that was by Foster, and Tigers come back, trying to pass that inside, but stolen away as it hit the foot of Carter Chilton. And here comes Stretch. 6 4 Salem, four minutes to go in the half to hold it for a three, and it's good. Andrew Holden gives Mountain View their first lead of the game. It's 7 6. Team in the red. Dotson for the timeline to Dawson Conway. Back to Dotson. In Salem. Trying to get a little bit more movement in their game as Wilson in the corner. Guard there by Holden back to Dotson. Dotson just missed a three of his own. Prior to Holden hitting his. Now Conway back to Dotson. Down low to Jordan Schultz. Back out to Dotson. Dotson trying to dance in. Cut off by Foster down to Schultz. Kanega has him. Schultz shot his block. Gets it again trying to put it up. And they're going to call a jump ball. Possession arrow will favor Mountain View. Kanega got on top with a hand on top of Schultz. Caused his the jump ball call. Out of slope comes in along Lucas Morrison as Schultz takes the seat, as does Hayden Wilson. No changes for Mountain View yet. With 3.20 to go in this first quarter, as Stretch will bring it down. 7 6 Eagle. Stretch trying to find that three point range. He hits it. 
Back stretch, buries the three. It's a 10-6 Mountain View lead. That's going to bring it up slowly. Gets to the timeline. 2-3 zone basically by Mountain View, but they have changed up. Now Carter Chill, outside to Dawson Conway. His three is good. Dawson Conway makes it a one-point game. Quick with the other way, Foster in the offensive zone. He backs it up, puts it over to Stretch. Stretch looking for a pick, doesn't get it. Now he rolls to his left, back on top, holding a long three. It's short, comes down to Kanega. Kanega has it, turns, kicks it outside to Cooley. Cooley beyond three, looks right side to Holden. Holden baseline underneath the basket, reverse layup, it's good. Andrew Holden has seven, and Mountain View's lead is three. He stops it into Silas Wolf in the offensive zone. The dots in the Conway as Salem is beyond the perimeter. Flip it back to Dawson. Back on top to Conway. Back to Reese Thompson. Right side pass Wolf. And they keep it out high. Now here's Conway inside of Carter Chilton. Carter has it stolen away. And back comes Mountain View. Here's Foster all the way down and knocked out of bounds by Dawson Conway. Good recovery by Dawson to get back and strip. Mountain View Liberty Eagles player of the ball before he could go up and shoot. 157 to go, first quarter. The inbound goes over the head of Kanega, but he goes and retrieves it, getting it back to Foster. Colton Foster between the circles right now for Mountain View, resetting the play. Picked up there by Conway. Foster down low, outside to hold it for another three, and it's good. And Coach Brew looks with amazement as Holden made that look very easy. As the net got tangled up. Tigers get it back down. 15-9 Mountain View. Holden with two threes and two twos. To lead the way right now for Mountain View. They have that six-point lead. Pass right side to Silas Wolf in the corner, Carter Chilton. Chilton back to Wolf. Salem again getting very stationary in their movement. Out of Dawson Conway. Conway trying to cross the court. Not a good idea. The ball sits out of bounds by Holden. And way too deliberate in that long pass. That's twice they tried to go cross the court. It's just too much air underneath that ball. Mountain View waiting for that now. Ball sits out of bounds. It stays with the Salem Tigers. And getting it back in to Reese Dotson with Silas Wolf. He gets the return pass with a minute five to go. Now to Carter Chilton. He has it stolen away from him again. Back the other way, stretch. But then the Tiger player, Dotson, steals it off him, but it goes off of Dotson out of bounds. Stays with Mountain View. Four steals for Mountain View in this first quarter. They've had one turnover. But the ball right now is Colton Foster. Down the left corner to hold it. He wants another three, and this one's off the front of the rim. Brought down by Wolf, but it comes loose to stretch, and his shot is missed, but Silas Wolf will follow him. Wolf brought it down and turned the ball over. Tigers with their fifth turnover, and then the foul called on Silas as he tried to recover. Got to be strong on the rebounds. These guys are grabbing and clutching. This is an SCA game, and they need it. They need it like anybody else does in the SCA. It's going to be very competitive. Every game means a lot. Stretch misses first, and Zach's second one is good. He's got four in the game, and the lead goes to seven with 45 seconds to go in his first quarter. Dotson will bring it up. In a floating 2-3 as Silas Wolf has it. Now back to him almost directly straight into his zone. Here's Dotson inside to Lucas Morrison. Morrison against Kanega. Shot is blocked, and here comes Mountain Dew trying to get started, but it goes off the foot as Silas Wolf brings it down to Hayden Wilson into... His short jumper, it will not go. It's brought down by Holden quickly the other way, and he throws it out of bounds, trying to hit a streaking Cooley. Holden got that rebound and fired it up for Cooley, but he hadn't gotten there in time. Morrison checks out. Schultz back in, 16.8 seconds left. Conway back in the ball game as well. And he'll come in for Carter Chilton. Mountain View with a seven-point lead. Inbound to Dotson with 15 seconds left on the clock first quarter. Dotson hanging on to it. Bounce pass to Conway. Down to nine seconds. Back to Reese Dotson. Down low intended for Hayden Wilson. 
Out to Conway for a three-pointer. It's short. Comes down in the hands of Stretch. One second left. They flip it up. No good. As the buzzer goes, and we play one quarter here at Salem. It's the Mountain View Liberty Eagles, 16. Salem Tigers, 9. Back in a minute, this is Tiger Basketball on KSMO. You are watching it on Fidelity Local 6. Out of town and want to know what's going on in Salem, how the Salem Tigers did, or who may have passed away? There's only one way to get that information quickly, and that's by going to Your World Today online. Go to KSMORadio.com and click on the Your World Today button, and you'll get the latest edition online, or check out the Your World Today archives. And if you are in town, pick one up in any of the 30-plus locations in Salem and Bunker. Your World Today, they're free! At your community health center, you're a part of our family, and we're committed to providing high quality and compassionate care at an affordable rate. Whether you need dental work, medical care, or even behavioral health services, we'll take care of you. After all, that's what family is for. All of your health care needs located in one convenient location at 1081 East 18th Street in Rolla. Call 573-426-4455 to schedule your appointment today. Building your community, your health. Back to the High School Gymnasium. Thanks for joining us on KSMO and Fidelity Local 6. It's Salem and Mountain View. Right now the Eagles with a seven-point lead as Salem gets the inbound for the second quarter. Getting it to restart in the corner, Jordan Schultz. Schultz with four points to lead the Tigers. To back out on top, down low to Schultz again. Schultz off the glass, no good, but he'll be fouled. Looks like by Caden Daniels. We just checked in to start quarter number two. That will be Mountain View's third foul, and Schultz to the line to shoot two. His free throw is good. Jordan three for three on the stripe. His next, trying to bang that one in, did not go, and Holden brings down the rebound. Here's Stretch for Mountain View in the offensive zone. Drives in, down low, and foul called on Salem on the floor. I believe Dawson Conway will pick that one up. That'll be Dawson's first foul. Also in the game is Jareth Acklin. As he gets the ball right now up for the three-pointer, and it's good. Jareth Acklin hits the three, and the lead extends to nine. For Mountain View, early in this second quarter, Conway gets in the corner to Wilson. Down low for Jordan Schultz. Schultz double teamed and almost triple teamed to Wilson out on top. Conway over to Silas Wolf. Right side pass to Dotson in front of the Liberty bench in the corner. Schultz back to Dotson on top. Conway left side to Wolf. Down low to Hayden Wilson. And Salem on the perimeter, not trying to penetrate inside against Mountain View. Schultz in the corner. To Dawson Conway. Conway stands there, fires it back to Silas Wolf. Wolf thinking about going inside, now to Conway. Conway trying to get back inside the Wolf, turns, spins, lost the ball, it's stripped away. Back comes Mountain View. Here's Foster all the way down, scoops it up, no good, and pulled down by Reese Dotson, and a foul called on Mountain View. Zach Stretch will pick up his second foul. As he bumped Dotson after he captured that rebound. The well, Tigers have six turnovers in the game. Five steals for Mountain View. Here's Dotson down. Out to Silas Wolf. Wolf started there by Ackland. Puts the left side corner to Hayden Wilson. Wilson picked up there by Stretch. Now on top right side pass to Dawson Conway. Down low to Wilson. Out on top to Dotson for the three-pointer. It's off the support. Taken there by Holden. Holden quickly the other way to Ackland. Back door to Foster, and he lays it up and in. Holden Foster coming in off the left wing, and Coach Cruz says, I need a timeout. With a score, Mountain View 21, the Salem Tigers 10. We'll come back in 30 seconds. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Radio, and you're watching it on Fidelity Local 6. 
Open a Progressive Ozark Bank checking account today and receive a free cooler. Progressive Ozark Bank makes switching banks easy with three great checking accounts to choose from. You'll also receive a new debit card the same day you open your account. Issued instantly with no waiting. Plus, enjoy free internet banking, free mobile deposit, and free bill pay, and enroll in e-statements and receive cash back. Banking with us is a refreshing experience. Ozark Bank, FDIC insured, and equal housing lender. Tigers Carter Chilton back in the game. He'll inbound the ball. Then for Silas Wolf. And bring it up the floor will be Reese Dotson. Dotson in the offensive zone. And Wilson inside. The ball stolen away. And again, another steal for Mountain View. Down the other way. Stolen back by Hayden Wilson. Wilson for the Tigers up. Lays it up and in. Nice job by Hayden Wilson. Quickly the other way. Stretch. Inside the Foster, going baseline, flipping it back to Holden, and it goes out of bounds. It'll be long to the Salem Tigers on the second consecutive turnover by Mountain View. All went into the Salem Tiger bench area. Still in to Reese Dotson. 5.42 to go in this, the first half. 21-12 right now, Mountain View with the lead. Aiden Wilson. Beyond three on top to Dotson, back to Hayden. He can shoot him from there. He used to do a lot more of that in his younger days. Not so much anymore. Now, Reese Dotson, three. It's good. Not that it's the three, and it's a six-point Mountain View lead. Here's Stretch. Stretch into the paint, to the hole, and he is fouled on the floor by Dawson Conway. He'll go to the line. Austin now with two fouls. Both of them coming not as shooting fouls, but on the floor. And Conway looks like he'll be checking out here. Silas Wolf will come in. So, going to follow him. Follow him not in the act of shooting, but before they get there. A good job by Dawson to stop Stretch with the foul. Stretch gets it to Holden. Holden with a couple of threes. Now to Ackland hit a three a moment ago. Now Stretch is three shot, two short. And Jordan Schultz pulls down that rebound. Hands it off to Reese Dotson. He'll bring it across the timeline. Salem within six now. Carter Chilton stops outside to Hayden Wilson. Wilson right by Foster all the way up. Lays it up and in. No good. He traveled with the ball. He had to step. One extra step to get around the player, and that cost him. That's a good move by Hayden Wilson. He faked out Colton Foster and went the other way, and Colton fell down. Got to rise out of the crowd. A stretch comes in the offensive zone to Foster. Foster down low all the way down. Bounce pass over to block there by Reese Dotson. But then a foul after Daniels got it back. Dotson got it from behind but came right back to Daniels and then scored. And the foul called, I believe, on Carter Chilton. And that'll be his first foul. But that allows Daniels to shoot the extra shot. That shot is an air ball. Mountain View, one of two from the free throw line in that first quarter. <clears throat> Over one here in the second. Four and a half to go. Each team with four fouls is Wilson on the perimeter. They them down by eight. The long three is up no good. Brought down. Stole away by Hayes Wilson from Holden. And the shot is blocked out of bounds. Holden brought down the rebound, but Wilson took it right out of his hand. And Salem will have the ball on the baseline with 4.22 to go in the half. 23-15 our score. Mountview Eagles have the lead. The inbound comes to Chilton in the corner. His three is blocked there by Stretch, and back they come the other way. Stretch, a three-on-one all the way down, lays it up, missed the shot, comes loose, and it's going to be over and back on Stretch. And the Mountain View Liberty Eagles turned the ball over again after the missed shot. Stretch was out of bounds. He tried to get back in. Did not get his foot in bounds before he touched the ball. So that foot comes in play. You're still considered out of bounds. 4.08 to go in the half. Aiden Wilson for Salem. Inside the Carter Chilton. Chilton's shot is blocked there by Canega. And back the other way comes Mountain View. Here's Holden. Stops with a three-pointer, and it's short. 
Comes down the hands of Carter Chilton. Carter gets it off to Dotson. Both teams kind of going a little cold here. 23-15 our score. Pass to Carter Chilton outside to Hayden Wilson for a three. It's off the iron. Comes up high and in the hands of number four. And that's Landon Cooley who's back in the ball game. Stretch left side pass. Holden. Holden hangs on to it. Back to Cooley. Cooley to Kanega at that top of that free throw line. Kanega takes it to the hole and lays it in. Defense broke down there and Boyden Kanega just took it home. 25-15, a 10-point Mountain View lead and still may cut it down to six. Three minutes to go, basically, and this is the first half. Wilson inside to Carter Chilton, and Chilton will be fouled there by Kanega. Boyden picks up his first foul, and it's on the floor. It'll be the fifth team foul. Still will inbound it from under the basket. Logan Chilton getting ready to check in. He will for Hayden Wilson. Mr. Dennis Purcell, wife Renee, and daughter Lindsay are all proud to be supporters of the Salem Tigers. Go Big Blue. From Commissioner Purcell and family, best of luck in the SCA. Logan Chilton trying to get it in, puts it out high, taken there by Dotson. Had Schultz cutting down the lane wide open. Didn't see him. Now here's Silas Wolf beyond three. Silas on top to Dotson. Left side pass to Logan Chilton. Double team there. Logan moves it back on top to Dotson. Dotson out to Silas Wolf. Again, very little movement here by Salem. Back to Dotson, left side to Chilton. That's Logan. Chilton into Carter. Carter to the bank, to the hole. Little jump shot, no good. And Jordan Schultz has it. Putting it outside to Silas Wolf. And Wolf kind of trips and goes off the foot of Fulton out of bounds. Hope he lost his balance or kind of tripped over Foster as he went by. Logan Chilton trying to get it in. Fires it out high again. To Dotson. Two and a half to go. This is the first half. 25 15. Mountain View. Turnaround jumper by Chilton. No good. And Jordan Schultz brings down the rebound, but he is fouled by Holden. And he'll go back to the line. Jordan is three of four from the stripe and has five points in the game. 16 foul for Mountain View. Salem will be in the bonus. The Eagles up by 10. Free throw is good. Schultz has another one coming. A lot of speed on this Mountain View team, but a good size as well. Next free throw, Pickles pickles around in there, finally goes through. And the Tigers have cut that deficit back to eight. A stretch comes down all the way outside. It goes to Cooley. Cooley moves, almost walked with the ball. Kind of looked like he did. Now to Foster. Foster taking it down, and a charge called on Foster as he went over top of Silas Wolf. Colton Foster will pick up his second foul. Went right over top of Silas Wolf without regard to anything, just looking for that basket. And the Tigers will take it as the ball went out of bounds with 2.05 to go. Still an eight point deficit as the pass goes outside to Logan Schultz. Logan down low to Jordan Schultz. Looking to get back outside, ball tipped and taken it back. I don't know, back court there by Silas Wolf and no call. And Silas then walked for the ball. Actually called for carrying it. He bounced the ball too high and turns it right back over. Ninth turnover this first half for Salem. The Mountain View stretch has it. Stretch will bring it up. Stretch between the circles. Guard there by Wolf. Right side pass Foster. Foster, man-to-man coverage by Salem. Out on top, it goes to Cooley. Left side pass to Stretch. Down low to Kanega. Against Schultz, Kanega's shot is up and good. Boy, Kanega has six that lead back to ten. Long pass to Silas Wolf. Down low, intended for Jordan Schultz. Off the glass and in. Schultz has nine points in the game. Tigers again down by eight as Holden has it. Holden stops outside the stretch. Down low to Kanigan. Outside, getting it back to Holden. Holden between the circles as the ball go out of bounds and stay there and stolen by Dotson. Nice steal by the Salem Tigers, forcing that turnover with a minute five to go. Dotson all the way down to the paint. Scoops it up and in with a little lefty scoop. 27-21, Salem again back within six. Stretch, stop, pulls up with a jumper, and it's short. Comes down in the hands of Kanega. Kanega out on top to Foster for a three. It's off the back of the iron, tipped up high in the air. Kanega brings it down to hold it underneath, and he scores. 
29-21. Mountain View on top. Pass across to Silas Wolf as Reese Dotson has it again. Over to Logan Chilton. There's 30 seconds left. Dotson thought about the three. Now to Carter Chilton from nine. It's good. Carter Chilton has four. Same again. Back within six. 20 seconds to go. Pass to Foster. Foster backs up to hold the left side. Out on top. Stretch. Down low to Kanega. Kanega, 10 seconds. Trying to go against Schultz. Outside to Foster for a three. It's too hard. Comes down to hold and he lays it in. Almost like a pass. Two seconds left. Salem gets it in to Dotson. And his long effort at the end of the half is no good. And we have played two quarters here at Salem. It's the Salem Tigers trailing the Mountain View Liberty Eagles by a score of 31 to 23. And we will come back in three minutes with stats of the first half when we return. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO. You are watching the game on Fidelity Local 6. Celebrate the new year with a new Buick from Fairground Auto Plaza in Rolla, where qualified buyers can get 0% APR financing for 72 months through GM Financial on most Buick models in stock. Some buyers may not qualify. Stop by Fairground Auto Plaza at 100 Fairgrounds Road in Rolla or go online at fairgroundgm.com to check out the selection or for more information. Fairground Auto Plaza, driven to serve you best where Chevy finds new roads. Check out the New Year's sale going on right now at Napa Auto Parts Store in Salem, where you'll find Max Battery Terminal Cleaner or Max Battery Terminal Protector. Your choice, two for $7. Prestone Windshield Deicer for $3.99 and a 26-piece screwdriver set with a stand for $17.99 a set. Stop by Napa Auto Parts Store at 604 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem. At the Bank of Salem, keeping your account safe and secure is our highest priority. We're adding text fraud alerts as part of our debit card protection program. If Shazam, our debit card processor, suspects fraudulent activity on your debit card, you may be alerted via text message or phone call. Ask a Bank of Salem employee today. Remember, we will never request card or account information via text, phone, or email. The Bank of Salem, putting our customers first since 1883. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Have you checked out Country Mart on Facebook or checked out their website yet? If not, you need to. You can enter every day on Facebook at Facebook.com by TC Markets. Or if you don't have Facebook, don't worry. You can still enter by clicking the link on weekly emails at www.tcmarkets.com for your chance to win something from the deli. And the winner will be announced on Wednesday of each week. It's at www.tcmarkets.com. Check it out for yourself today. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're for home sweet home. We're for condos, tutors, single wides, and studios. We're for ranches, houseboats, two stories, or 20. Red cedar, bluebirds, white squirrels, black walnuts, whatever's out your back door, we're for that. We're for watching the sun rise over the Mississippi and set over the Missouri. We're for kicking off your heels in a high rise or hanging up your hat in the booty hill. And if you have a home in Missouri, we have a policy for you. I'm Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance agent, and if you're in Dent County, I've got you covered. Tired of corporate America taking your hard-earned money? Then it's time to talk about Riverways Federal Credit Union. A credit union isn't a bank. It's a not-for-profit financial cooperative, meaning you have a say as a member owner to help manage your money. We offer a wide range of services, including checking and savings accounts, home loans, commercial loans, construction loans, and so much more. Stop in at our convenient locations in Rolla and Salem, or visit our website at www.riverwaysfcu.org today. Riverways Federal Credit Union. Positively different. Riverways Federal Credit Union. Member NCUA. Back Salem High School Gymnasium, the Salem Black Corps from the high school and the junior high are putting on a routine here at halftime for the crowd. And a uh, nice applause for job well done. And here at KSMO Radio, 1340 Fidelity Local 6. This is Salem Tiger basketball against the Mountain View Liberty Eagles. It's an SCA contest. And the Tigers trail it at halftime, 31-23. to Tigers... Uh, the lead early, but uh, Mountain View came back in a couple of threes by Andrew Holt to kind of turn this game around, and all of a sudden it went from a lead of 6-2 to two to a 7-6 seven, deficit, and Salem has not gotten the lead back since back in that first quarter. Leading the way is Andrew Holt with 14 points for Mountain View, 6 points for Boyden Kanega, and then 4 points for Zach Stretch, 3 for 
Jarris Acklin, a couple of points for Colton Foster and Caden Daniel in this game as well. The Salem Tigers, their leading score is Jordan Schultz with nine points, five for Reese Dotson, three for Dawson, or four for Carter Chilton, three for Dawson Conway, and two for Hayden Wilson. Tigers are five of six in the free throw line in this first half, while Mountain View is one for three in the game. Foul trouble, Dawson Conway has a couple. Zach Stretch has two, and Colton Foster have two for Mountain View. Anybody else who has a foul has only one in that first half. Salem Tigers, nine turnovers in that first half. It seemed to be you know, way too many, and they came kind of come in clusters and really has uh, had a negative effect sometimes on the, the score, but uh, not, not terribly tonight as some of those turnovers are actually able to get back or actually play some pretty good defense, but still nine is about five or so too many in that first half as they have been doing much better here lately and not turning the ball over as much. But nine in this first half, six for Mountain View, six steals for Mountain View. So the Salem Tigers trying to force some passes in, especially inside the paint, and they have lost the ball in there a total of four times on turnovers inside the uh, paint and, again, the offensive zone. Three steals for the Salem Tigers in the game. Salem Tigers will be hitting the road and uh, being at Ava next Friday night, and they also will have a game here against Mountain Grove. So they got a lot of SDA games coming up. They'll have on the schedule Willow Springs, and that'll be a makeup game on February 11th. Don't forget that one at Mount, at uh, Willow Springs, and then Kabul and Houston, and they'll wrap up with St. Clair. So we're nearing the end of the season. Just that that quickly, it'll all be over, and it'll be district play, and that will be in Union this year. Tell you a little bit about Southwest Baptist University's campus in Salem, where they provide quality higher education right here close to home. If you're a resident of Dent County or you're in the surrounding areas, they would like you to stop on by and discuss your degree needs with them. They have nursing degrees in the R.N. Bridge program, criminal justice, elementary education, just to name a few. For more information about degrees or programs, contact admissions counselor Chris Welch. He can help you out. 729-7071. 729-7071. And we do want to tell you that Common Grounds Bistro is open Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. in the morning, and they serve up delicious breakfast and lunch. And on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, they have delicious dinners as well. Don't forget about their mouth-watering steaks. They have delicious pizza, sandwiches, salads, great food all the time at the Common Grounds Bistro. Feel free to stop on by and visit with them at 300 B South Main Street in Salem. You can also call 453-2173 and pick up your order to go. Common Grounds Bistro right here in Salem for great food all the time. We are at halftime here at KSMO Radio and Fidelity Local 6 on the uh, SDA schedule. There are a lot of games going on there right now. And as we mentioned earlier in the contest, the SDA is so tight right now, every game is pivotal. And the Tigers, who lost it there on Tuesday night, would love to get back to 500 against this Mountain View Liberty team who beat Houston, and they are 1-0 in the SCA. So uh, every team has a chance. You mentioned Mountain Grove will be in town, and we'll have uh, them on. And, uh, you know, it should be an interesting game there. Plus, don't forget, we have to play a very good Willow Springs team at Willow Springs. So lots of SCA basketball still on the way. So if you missed tonight's game, uh, you can catch it. The very next one right here at the Salem High School gym. They take on the Panthers on Tuesday night. 31-23, we're at halftime. We'll come back in two and a half minutes with the second half. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO. You are watching the game on Fidelity Local 6. Many people do not know that the Salem Memorial District Hospital has a sleep center right here in Salem. The sleep center provides diagnostic testing and treatment for those who suffer from sleep disorders to provide us with information to recommend the proper treatment. Our in-lab studies can test for a whole range of issues from sleep apnea, narcolepsy, and more. For more information about the sleep lab, call me, Lindsay Rosner, at 729-6626. The Salem Memorial District Hospital. Every patient, every encounter, every time. Reality check number 22. On a scale of 1 to 10, shouldn't customer service be an 11? At Town & Country Bank, we have a solution for that. Walk into any town and country, and you'll feel welcome right away. We're your neighbors. If you're a customer, we'll probably even call you by name. It's just what neighbors do. Town & Country Bank. Smart, friendly solutions. Member FDIC. 
place for do-it-yourselfers with everything for your car or truck. At k Auto Supply, pick up Lucas Deep Clean Fuel System Cleaner or High Mileage Fuel Treatment, two for $12. The PB Blaster Penetrating Catalyst for $3.99 each and get a True Timber Steering Wheel Cover priced at $14.99. Stop by k Auto Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store. Park City, yeah, Park City, Park City. This is Mike Elliott with Town & Country Insurance. We represent many different insurance companies which allow us to offer you competitive rates by checking your insurance with many companies. We're able to find more value for you this way. Town & Country Insurance has been serving the surrounding area for over 50 years. Stop by and see Laura Arts, Sarah Edwards, or myself at 400 West Scenic Rivers Boulevard located inside the Town & Country Bank. Or you can call our office at 729-6624. We also have offices in Rolla and Licking to serve you. season is still a while away, but it's never too early to start tax planning and tax consultation. Let Jackie or Beth at Taxmasters help you start preparing for the upcoming tax year. They also have over 30 years of accounting and payroll experience. Stop by and see Jackie and Beth at Taxmasters today, located at 510 North Main Street in Salem, or call 729-3001. We're ready for the second half as the Salem Tigers and Mount View Liberty Eagles come back on the floor. Family Construction LLC can handle all of your construction needs, building a brand new building or fixing the one you currently have, remodeling, room additions, concrete work, deck, siding, tile, wood floors, and even roofs. No job is too small. Just call Randy 247-6468 or Jake 247-4174, Family Construction LLC. At the KSL Studios, 1340 a.m., Beautiful night for basketball. we got a good game going on here. 31-23 as Mountain View has the ball on the inbound. Right around the perimeter goes to Cooley. Cooley inside to Kanega. Kanega guarded by Schultz with a left-handed hook. Goes in. Nice job by Boyden Kanega. He's got eight in the game. Lead back to ten for Mountain View. That's Austin Conway in front of the Salem bench. To back on top to Wilson. Now to Dotson. Beyond three. Takes the three. It's off the iron. Comes high to Carter Chilton on the rebound. Carter, back up and in. Carter Chilton. It's a nice rebound to put back as Foster has it for Mountain View. In the left side to Holden. Holden down low to Kanega again against Schultz. Another baby hook. This one won't go. Push back up by Holden, but it would not fall. Then Hayden Wilson brings it down. A long pass to Conway in the corner. Conway. That timeout called by Coach Brew as Conway was kind of trapped down there by Stretch. So good job by the Tiger player to get the ball and then good coaching by Brew to hold on to the ball. It's 33-25 here at Salem. We're going to keep it right here and tell you that Duncan Family Chiropractic at 216 West 3rd Street in Salem is a proud supporter of your Salem Tigers. If you need chiropractic needs, whether it be final adjustment or might even be a little work on the hip, Maybe on your legs, maybe up on your neck. Feel free to get in touch with Dr. Amber Duncan at Duncan Family Chiropractic. Call her at 729-2321. Healing the natural way through chiropractic. Duncan Family Chiropractic in Salem, 216 West 3rd Street. Dawson Conway will inbound it. And does to Carter Chilton. Chilton guarded by Stretch. Double team flips it back on on top to Dotson out of Wilson. Wilson. It's Dawson Conway. Now over to Reese Dotson. Dotson down low to George Schultz. Baseline flips it on top of Hayden Wilson. Right side Conway. Conway on that perimeter. Puts it back to Dotson. Top of the key. Stops right side to Dawson Conway. Floating zone right now for Mountain View. They try and get it into Wilson. Trying to get inside. Salem not really dancing through the zone, but they are trying to switch up a little bit. Trying to get a Carter Chilton. Good pass. Underneath the Jordan Schultz. Locked away. Comes to Chilton, and he lost the ball. So it was knocked out of his hands by Holden. But he turns it right back over. And the Salem Tigers steal it right back. Chilton to Dotson. Dotson into the paint. Down low to Schultz. And he's trying to lay it up. Can't do it. Try it again. No good. Ball loose. Wilson picks it up. His try will not go. It's brought down by Stretch this time. Two tries by the Tigers. 
all the way down. It's Foster kicking it back on top to hold it, but a foul called underneath. Salem a couple of cracks at that one, just couldn't get it to go. And out of the line will be Foster. Foul on George Schultz, his first. Another area that Jordan has really changed his game. No longer in foul trouble early in the contest. And they're, they're going to discuss that that was not a shooting foul. He was trying to pass the ball to Holden. He was not trying to shoot. So, no, they take the, they take the shooting away. Officials got together as he was flying down, Foster was, and trying to kick it into Holden, and then the ball went out of bounds. Off to the foul. Inbound comes to Kanega in the corner. All the way across the floor to Holden for a three. Too short. Tip comes down to Holden. Holden lays it up and in. 6-6 six, six comes in handy sometimes. Right there it did. He's got 16 in the game. The lead back to 10 underneath the Schultz, and he is blocked down with a foul called, I believe, on Holden. He and Kanega both went up to block Schultz. They're going to call it on Holden, and Andrew will get his second foul. And Schultz back to the line, who's shot five of six from the strike. This one is no good. Hit the rim and spun out. Jordan with another one coming. This one is, again, no good. And Holden brings down that rebound. On view the other way. Pass to Holden beyond three on the left wing. Holden trying to dance in, down low to Kanega. Kanega shot no good, but George Schultz will pick up his second foul, and this one will be a shooting foul for Kanega. Lucas Morrison will come in. Kanega, who has eight points, will shoot two. And this one is good. The support came up in the air, went right back through the cylinder. Thirty-six twenty-five, and this one is good as well. Twelve-point lead, the largest of the night for Mountain View. Dotson for Salem in the offensive zone. Left side pass to Conway. Conway on top to Wilson. Back to Conway. Open doesn't shoot. Now back to Dotson. He is open. He does shoot, and this one is no good. Caught down by Carter Chill, and a foul call. I believe that one's on Kanega. He bumped into Carter Chill, and after he brought down the rebound. That will be his second foul. And coming back in the game is Caden Daniels for Kanega. 5-10 to go third quarter. 37-25, that inbound pass knocked away by Stretch. That's exactly what he did. He stretched up, just knocked that ball away. He'll try it again. Will Dawson Conway, this time goes way out high to Dawson, guarded there by Cooley. Dawson right by Cooley from nine feet, a shot no good, holding again another rebound, and that is his ninth of the game. Here's Stretch all the way down off the foul. He'll try and shoot, and that's going to be on Dawson Conway, and Stretch is Good effort there. Gets him a couple of free shots from the free throw line. And Dawson Conway will pick up his third foul. That's got those long legs. He's quick. He turns that outside. And the only thing Dawson could do was to slow him down was to bump him. The free throw is short. Back stretch. Silas Wolf in for Dawson. We'll check out with those three fouls. Next one's good. Lead has climbed to 13 for Mountain View. Salem has got two points in this third quarter. Mountain View has tallied seven. Here's Dawson on the perimeter, trying to get it down. A kick by stretch out of bounds into the Salem bench area. Silas Wolf looking to the corner, gets it to Hayden Wilson. Out on top, getting into Dotson. Dotson guarded there by Foster. Now to Silas Wolf. And plenty of room left by on view right now. Playing more of a 2-3 straight zone. So that floating zone. Now quickly down right side pass to Hayden Wilson in the corner. 
Inside it goes to Morrison. Morrison's shot is up no good, but a foul called. I think it's on Daniels, but Holden looks like he's in disbelief, but it's on Daniels, and that'll be his second. That'll put Lucas Morrison at the line. Lucas. He'll be shooting a couple here. It'll need to get some of these free throws. They were five and six in the first half, but they're over for three here in the second. Morrison with another one, and this one, it is no good as well, and the ball knocked out of bounds. They're going to say it's going to be Salem Ball. Went off of Holden. Salem over four here in this third quarter from the strike. Went from 83% down to 50%. Very quickly. Inbound pass to Morrison. Morrison's short jumper is good. It's the free throws, but gets that inbound pass from Wolf and puts it home and stretched the other way. Down low, pulls up, stops. Trying to flip it back on top, Foster. To the hole, Foster back to stretch open for the three. Takes it, it's good. Back stretch as Cooley with a little bit of offensive pressure. Stretch has eight now. And the lead has gone to 14. Pass in the corner. Silas Wolf a three, too hard. Goes out high, and here's Foster the other way. Foster all the way down, spins, turns, and scores. 43-27. Here's Wilson for Salem all the way down to the hole. It's blocked away, and foul called on Mountain Dew, and Hayden Wilson will shoot two. Hayden saw that opening, took it right there, but Mountain View did recover, but they will pick up a foul, and that'll be on Hayden Daniels, and that'll be his third. Nega will come back in. Free throw by Wilson is no good. Daniels, a 6'4 sophomore. Three three nine to go, third quarter. Now the officials are working on formalities until they allow the player to come in. Daniels went off. Kanega just came on, but they said he didn't check in. That's a little bit petty Andy right there. So, But it is what it is. It's the rules, and the next shot by Wilson, no good. He actually is going to get free here because of the lane violation. He missed both of them. Brought down by Carter Chilton. Carter, back to Reese Dotson for a three. It's too short. And it's brought down by Foster. Foster the other way to the paint, to the hole. Flips it up. It trickles in. And a blocking foul. They're going to count the bucket, I believe. It's a good move by Foster in. Yes, count the bucket. And the foul. And Foster will shoot the extra shot. The foul's going to be on Silas Wolf. Each team with four fouls here in the third quarter with 3.29 to go, and Mountain View pulling away here. Scored 14 points in this third quarter. Make it 15. As Fulton Foster hits that one, he's got seven now in the game. Wilson, beyond three, on top, Silas Wolf. Started there by Jarrett Zacklin, who just came in the game. Now to Wilson. Wilson, out to Carter Chilton. A long two, him balls out, no good. And Kanega brings down the rebound. The other way to Ackland. Ackland moves to his left in the corner, waiting for theirs. Holden. Holden into the paint to Kanega. Kanega right at that free throw line. Back on top to Foster. Backs up, jump shots up, and good. Holden Foster got a hot third quarter here, and the lead has gone to 21 just that fast. Pass left side, Hayden Wilson. Salem got it within six in this game, and but now they are down by a bunch, 21. That shot misses, and Holden brings it down, flips it out to Foster, trying to feed it over to Ackland, and deflected out of bounds by Silas Wolf. 2.30 to go. 
231 actually to go in this the third quarter. 48-21, Mountain View as Morrison will check out. Stretch will inbound it. Stretch in the corner to Ackland, backs up, takes a three, it's good. No pressure by Salem out there, and another three, and that's a 24-point lead as Mountain View is virtually not missing at all here in this third quarter. As Wolf hangs on to it, left side pass. It's Dotson for a three, and it's good. Reese Dotson hits the three. Why a crowd here at Salem as Stretch comes against Wolf. Goes by him, flips it off the glass, and in. Nice play by Zach Stretch. Using the entire backboard. Long pass to Schultz. Schultz underneath the basket. As the ball go off of Zach Stretch, it'll stay with the Salem Tigers. 53-30. Mountain View with the lead. We're in the third quarter. They have scored 22 third quarter points. Now Dotson to the bank. Short jumper. It trickles out no good. Ball off the hands. They'll say again Zach Stretch. He and Hayden Wilson were battling under the basket. Both the inbound. Wolf, seeing it out to Dotson. Carter Chilton. Carter to the paint. Short jumper. Too short. And Holden has it. Flipping it out left side. Here comes Foster and Acklin. And he lays it in. Jareth Acklin with eight now. And the lead to 25. Foster guarding Dotson. And it goes over to Hayden Wilson with a pass. Now back. Inside the Carter Chilton off Dotson's hands. Now to Wolf. Wolf back to Reese. The Carter Chilton to Wolf for a three. He hits too hard. And the backside, Zach Stretch has it. Stretch to Foster all the way down. His shot is up and good. Holton Foster has had nine points in this third quarter. He's got 11 on the game, and the lead is 27 points. Carter Chilton underneath to Jordan Schultz. His shot is up and good. Counts the bucket, and the foul on Holden. Jordan gets into double figures with the basket, and he'll go to the line to try and finish off the play as Holden will pick up his third foul. Mountain View is bound to range here, and this is the third quarter. And that free throw is no good. Salem has not made a free throw at this end of the floor yet. Stretch has it on top, Kanega. He wants a three. He's got it. Boyden Kanega hits a three. He's a big man, but he has soft touch on that one. And with 42 seconds to go, it's a 28-point Mountain View lead. Pass to Wilson. To the paint, to the hole, and he'll get fouled en route. It'll be a six-team foul against Mountain View with 35 seconds to go. Foster with nine in this quarter. Kanega has seven. And Jarris Ackle has five. And Zach Stretch has six. So some big numbers by a number of different players as Holden checks out and Daniels back in. Both players with three fouls. A 28-point Mountain View lead. Inbound to Carter Chilton. Chilton in the Jordan Schultz from seven. It's no good. Carter Chilton a rebound. Blocked away, but a foul called underneath, I believe, on Kanega. Carter Chilton with his seventh rebound, and the foul is going to be called on Kanega. Now he's got three. 29 seconds to go. Clock stops as Carter will shoot free throws. And this one is good. So Salem finally gets a free throw at this end of the floor. <clears throat> they're one of six right now. I'm sorry, they're one of eight right now. Carter's next one is also good. He's got eight points on the game. And Stretch will bring it up. Salem in a half-court defense quickly. Down by 26 points here in this the third quarter. Pass to Kanega. Kanega outside to Ackland. Ackland to the paint, back to Kanega. Thinks about another three and walks to the ball. Kanega faked the three and then took off. Skipped to both feet, walks with it. Gives the ball back to the Salem Tigers. Just the second turnover by Mountain View in this the third quarter. Dotson to Hayden Wilson. Down to nine seconds. Wilson 
Down to Dotson. Dotson in the corner. Puts up a, a sprawling three, and he gets it with one second left. And that does it for three quarters of play. The Salem Tigers, they'll fall behind further as the Mountain View Liberty Eagles had a tremendous 29-point third quarter that leads Salem 60-37. to We'll come back in a minute. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO. You're watching it on Fidelity Local 6. You don't have to go out of town to rent a car. You can rent one right here in town at Larson Rental Cars. And they have cars available to anyone for their needs, including short vacations when you don't want to put miles on your vehicle, a person's short-term needs for a vehicle repair, or an extra vehicle for a family member who's come in town, or really any reasonable need you might have. For more information about Larson Rental Cars, call 729-3915 or stop by 503 North MacArthur in Salem. Larson Rental Cars. There's a lot to do at the newly renovated Salem City Park. Headlining the activities is the totally rejuvenated Alice Lou Craig Municipal Pool that offers visitors and residents of all ages a full day of fun. The park also includes a brand new splash pad adjacent to Billy's Playground, Salem's new all-accessible playground where children with different abilities can play together. The park has numerous ball fields as well as pavilions that are available to rent for private outings. For more information about the Salem City Park, visit the Salem Park and Recreation Facebook page online. We start the fourth quarter of the Salem Tigers in possession. Down by 23 points. Silas Wolf. Left side to Dotson. Dotson trying to pass it down low and it goes out of bounds off that stretch. By now four Mountain View players in double figures after that 29 point third quarter. Pass inside to Jordan Schultz. Turn around jumper partially blocked. Comes down though to Dotson trying to bank it in. It won't go and Tomega Brings it down, but Dotson takes it from him to Jordan Schultz, and he scores. Steal by the Salem Tigers there after Knager brought down the rebound. How long three, up and off the front of the rim by stretch, brought down by si uh, Silas Wolf. Quickly the other way, Wilson to Carter Chilton out on top, Dotson to the paint, outside to Wolf for a three-pointer. It's offline and brought down by stretch on the backside. Long pass to Foster over his head and out of bounds. It'll be long to the Salem Tigers. Tigers down by 21. 7.13 to go. 60 to 39. And it was a 14-point third quarter, but Mountain View had a 29-point third quarter. They didn't miss. Now a little short. Shot off the glass is good. Tigers are creeping back. Down by 19. Pass to Foster. Foster down. Lost control of the ball. Got it back on top of the stretch. Stretch down low to Daniels. Daniels outside of Foster. Baseline. Shot is up. No good. Foul by her by Silas Wolf. We'll pick up his third foul. Silas with three fouls. Hogan Chilton going to come in the game. Fifth team foul for Salem. And Holden will come back in for Caden Daniels. 6.50 to go, fourth quarter. 60 to 41. Inbound comes to Holden. Out on top to Foster to Harris. Harris for a three, and he's got it. Jarris Acklin, Boyles Acklin kids, all very good athletes. He hits a three, and he's got 11. He's the fifth double figures for Mountain View. Logan Chilton, double team, trying to get to Carter. He does, but tied up. Possession arrow will favor Mountain View. And that'll be Salem Tigers' a second turnover in this second half. Here's Foster. Salem in a half-court defense, allowing Mountain View to walk the ball up. Foster left side to Ackland, who just hit that three. Inside the Kanega to Holden for a three. It's good. Andrew Holden with 19 in this game. And the lead back to 25 to Mountain View. Aiden Wilson, bounce pass down low to Jordan Schultz. Walk, no call. Now to Logan Chilton. Bring it back out beyond the three to Dotson. Down low to, to Jordan. Jordan underneath, bounce pass out. Intended for Aiden Wilson, throws it away. Aiden didn't get to the corner. Jordan was getting kind of in no man's land underneath the basket. And had to move it and threw the ball where he thought Hayden would go, and Hayden didn't get there. Foster all the way down. Nice move, but a shot won't go. And then Dotson brings down the rebound, a little contact, and then the Tigers throw it away. 
going by stretch all the way down. The short jumper is good. Back stretch with 12 on the second seal by Mountain View. And the lead back to 27. Dotson in the paint, turn around jumper, way too short. Caught down on the floor, taken down quickly by Foster. Fast breaking is Mountain View now, and the shot misses. And a foul called on Ackland going over the back of Jordan Schultz. And Schultz will go shoot a one and one All these guys just are very athletic, and they can run. As soon as they get the ball, they take off up the floor. It's a one and one guys. A team foul. They're going to inbound the ball back behind the, the uh, Tiger basket. 68-41. Still to add 15 points in this game. And to hit five of his first six and then miss the next three is five of nine. He will be shooting a one and one. Jordan's free throw is no good. Brought down by Holden. Holding the stretch, stretch on top, holding for a three. It's good. Man, he is hot. 22 points, and the lead goes to 30. Here's Wilson with 5.09 to go inside the Schultz. There's the Carter Chilton, and he's it in. Carter's got 10 in this game. We're going to see him start getting that ball back to the cylinder with five minutes exactly on the clock. Foster to Kanega. Kanega thought about the two, takes it to the hole. Scores, and he's fouled by Jordan Schultz. Boyden Kanega with 15, and he's a big kid. And he will shoot the free throw. He's 6'5", and probably about, oh, I'm going to say about 220. Forson will check in as Schultz gets his third foul. Stop the clock, which they should not have done with a 30-point lead, and then Kanega will shoot the free throw, and now they start the clock, and it pinballs all over and finally goes in. Boyden Kanega now has 16. Wilson, down low to Morrison. Morrison shot blocked there by Kanega, and a foul call. Kanega will have his fourth foul. And Morrison will shoot a one-and-one. And will be in a double bonus on the next one. Morrison 0 for 2 from the stripe. This one is good. Conway back in the game for Salem. And Caden Daniels will sneak in for Mountain View. He'll take the place that Tanega will sit down. Morrison's next one is no good. Comes out, tip there, into the hands of Foster. Foster the other way. 74-44 Mountain View with 3.45 to go and the clock will run as long as there's a 30-point lead. Past the stretch, it's so good. High, long rebound comes in the hands of Dotson. Dotson was right over time of Foster, no call. Down to Morrison. Morrison's shot off the glass is no good, and Caden Daniels pulls it down. Well, that looks like it's all nothing but net. It just wouldn't fall. Down low, Foster. Foster is fouled there by Morrison. He faked going up, then did go up, and Morse was already elevated. And he fouls him. And for Lucas, that's his first. Fox is running down to three minutes to go in this ball game. Fox's free throw trickles out. That ball is all but down in the cylinder, and it suddenly came back out. Holden Foster's next one. This one's too short. Comes down the hands of Dawson Conway. Conway off to Dotson. Dotson down with a Carter Chilton. His short jumper is no good, and Holden brings that down. Salem can't buy a basket here when they really need one. It's on top. Holden, another long, long three, and this one just goes straight in. And I'm telling you what, he's got 25 points for the night. He is on fire from three-point land. He has five of them. Now here's Dawson, Conway, all the way across. That ball's going to get stolen away. And here comes Mountain View again. Foster all the way down. Kicks it out to Holden for another three, and this one does not go. And Holden gets his own rebound, turns off the glass, and is blocked by Morrison. Now brought down by Foster, and he gets it to go in. And count the bucket. 
Fulton got his own rebound, and he tried to block, and then Foster got the rebound, scores the bus the basket, and the foul is called on Dawson Conway, his fourth. And the clock continues to tick down quickly as it's now 35 points lead for Mountain View. Zach Stretch comes out. Carter Chilton comes out. Brent Carmack comes in along with Damon Akers. And Foster will shoot the extra free throw here. And it is no good. Brought down by Morrison. 79-44, 79-44, a game that was basically just an eight-point deficit by Salem at halftime has really gone the other way here in the second half. Logan Chilton was down to a minute to go. Now to Carmack. Braden Carmack across to Conway. Austin Conway trying to get inside. Back to Damon Akers. Left side, Carmack. For three, it's way too short. Akers, uh, Ackland has it. Ackland the other way, and a timeout called by the Mountain View coach to allow his players to come in. With the score, Salem Tigers trailing Mountain View 79-44. Well, wait a minute. It is a 30-second break. We'll come back. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO. You're watching it on Fidelity Local 6. There's a place for do-it-yourselfers with everything for your car or truck. K Nature Supply get Mobile One full synthetic oil twenty eight ninety five for five quarts. Park City conventional oil priced at sixteen ninety nine for five quarts. And stone glass cleaning wipes are only four ninety nine. Stop by K and H Auto Supply, your Park City Auto Parts store here in Salem. Park City, yeah, Park City, Park City. And back to action for the last few seconds of this one. They got the JV guys in now, taking the place of the varsity. And right now with it and, and hanging on to it for Mountain View is number 12, Colton Weldon. Weldon getting it out on top to Cornman, or Cornman, that's Zeb Cornman. Out in the corner, a three-point effort short there by number 31, Michael Shoup. Brought down by Morrison, getting it off to Conway. Four seconds left. Conway puts up a three-pointer. It's off the iron. No good. Brought down underneath. By Shoop, and this one's over. Salem Tigers lose it to Mountain View by a final score of 79 to 44, and fall to 5 and 14 on the season, and 0 and 2 in the SCA. We will come back in three minutes and give you some statistics from this one. We return. This is Tiger Basketball on KSMO Radio. You're watching it on Fidelity Local 6. Reality check number 36. Shouldn't your personal banker know you, well, personally? At Town & Country Bank, we have a solution for that. The first thing we do is get to know you. Are you a planner or a last-second guy? Have a house full of crazy kids or an empty nest? We aren't just your banker. We're your neighbor who helps with money. We might even spring for a cup next time we see you in the coffee shop. Town & Country Bank. Smart, friendly solutions. Member FDIC. The Salem Memorial District Hospital Radiology Department strives to stay at the forefront of technology through high-quality diagnostic imaging tools such as CT scans, MRIs, X-rays, nuclear medicine, DEXA scans, 3D mammographies, ultrasound, and more. Many services are offered 24 hours a day, 7 days a week through the emergency room, while other services are offered through outpatient services Monday through Friday. To find out more about the radiology department, contact me, Bobby Sullins, at 729-6626. The Salem Memorial District hospital every patient every encounter every time would it make your life easier to have access to a live teller monday through saturday from 7 a.m to 8 p.m i'm sure you answered yes riverways federal credit union is here to help you simplify with their all new itm just drive straight up to the machine in the drive through lane that looks like an atm press the screen and voila you'll be talking straight to the local teller It's that easy. Available six days a week, Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Just another way that Riverways Federal Credit Union is positively different. We are Missouri Farm Bureau Insurance, and we're for the Missouri way of life. We're for worrying less about the what ifs and more about the why nots. We're for checking off your bucket list and then making a new one. For starting a family, a business, a tradition. And if you find yourself starting over, we're here for that too. We're for building a life in Missouri and then going out and living it. 
And when it comes to making sure everything you've built is protected, we're for you. I'm Willie Strader, your Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent. And if you're in Dent County, I've got you covered. Check out Country Mart in Salem, where in their bakery you can find a large variety of cakes for all occasions, anytime, and by special order, like anniversary, wedding, and birthday cakes. Country Mart has a full-service deli, where breakfast is served daily, they have deli sandwiches that are made while you wait, and they offer daily lunch specials every day. You'll also find a large selection of cheese and deli meats to choose from. It's just another reason to shop at Country Mart in Salem, Highway 32, 72 East. At the Bank of Salem, keeping your accounts safe and secure is our highest priority. We're adding text fraud alerts as part of our debit card protection program. If Shazam, our debit card processor, suspects fraudulent activity on your debit card, you may be alerted via text message or phone call. Ask a Bank of Salem employee today. Remember, we will never request card or account information via text, phone, or email. The Bank of Salem, putting our customers first since 1883. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. And we're back. Salem High School Gymnasium, a tough loss for Salem Tigers. They were then striking distance at halftime, 31-23. They trailed in this one. They had the lead early on the game. Mountain View kind of took over with the three-pointers. They had 11 of them in this game, 11 three-pointers. And uh, they turned that game around. A three-pointer by Andrew Holden gave Mountain View the lead 7-6, to six, and they never looked back after that. Mentioned eight points at halftime. Tigers got it down uh, to eight again in the second half but they never could sustain that as they got outscored in that third quarter, 29-14, to 14, and then Mountain View just fin finished it off as Andrew Holden just did it by himself in that fourth quarter with three straight threes, and then uh, Jared Acklin had a three as well, and then the clock started to run, and they just wound it down 79-44 over the Salem Tigers tonight. Five, five guys from Mountain View in double figures tonight, led by Andrew Holden with 25 points. 15 for Broyden Kanega, and then 13 points for Colton Foster, 12 for Zach Stretch, and 11 for Jarris Acklin. Hayden Daniels contributed a couple of points in there as well. Mountain View 6 to 12 in the free throw line in the game. Leading rebounder in the game was Holden with 13. Four each for Foster and Kanega. Three for Zach Stretch, two for Landon Cooley, one for Michael Shoup, one for Jarris Acklin in the game, and one for Caden Daniels. Ten turnovers, nine steals for Mountain View in the game. Nobody fouled out for the Mountain View Liberty Eagles in the contest. For Salem Tigers, he had three guys in double figures, actually. Jordan Schultz led the way with 15 points. Reese Dotson had 11, and Carter Chilton finished with 10. Three points for Lucas Morrison and Dawson Conway. Two for Hayden Wilson in the game. Leading rebounder was Carter Chilton with seven. Jordan Schultz finished with four. Two for Reese Dotson. Aiden Wilson and Lucas Morrison, one each for Silas Wolf and Dawson Conway in the ball game. Salem was 8 of 18 from the free throw line in the contest. They had 14 turnovers and they had five steals. No one fouled out for the Salem Tigers in the contest as well. So Salem falls to 5 and 14 on the year and 0 and 2 in the SCA before they'll play Mountain Grove next Tuesday here at home and then finish out their season with the SCA play uh, all the way through next couple of weeks here so they got five SCA games in the next two weeks before finishing out with St. Clair before they have district play and our final score here from high school gym it was Mountain View 79 Salem Tigers 44 we invite you to keep it right here we're going to come back at two and a half minutes and we'll preview Blues hockey and Missouri Tiger basketball coming up that's right here on KSMO radio 1340 a.m. in two and a half minutes this is Tiger basketball on KSMO Right now at Napa Auto Parts Store in Salem, you can save on a Booster Pack 12-volt lithium jump starter, Irwin Vice Grip 4-piece fast-release locking pliers for $39.99, a Blue Fuel 360 swivel rechargeable light for only $39.99, and Napa Full Synthetic Motor Oil $18.99 for a 5-quart jug. Stop by Napa Auto Parts Store, 604 East Scenic Rivers Boulevard in Salem.
Ring in the new year at Fairground Auto Plaza with a GMC 2019 Terrain SLT, 2019 Acadia SLT, or a 2018 Sierra 1500 SLT Crew Cab, where you can save 19% off the manufactured suggested retail price. Find out all the details by stopping by Fairground Auto Plaza at 100 Fairgrounds Road in Rolla, or go online at fairgroundgm.com. Fairground Auto Plaza, driven to serve you best, where Chevy finds new roads. Open a Progressive Ozark Bank checking account today and receive a free cooler. Progressive Ozark Bank makes switching banks easy with three great checking accounts to choose from. You'll also receive a new debit card the same day you open your account. Issued instantly with no waiting. Plus, enjoy free internet banking, free mobile deposit, and free bill pay, and enroll in e-statements and receive cash back. Banking with us is a refreshing experience. Ozark Bank, FDIC insured, and equal housing lender. Have a toothache? Need a dental cleaning? Whatever it is, YCHC has you covered. Your community health center is now scheduling appointments for 2019. Call our dental clinic at 573-426-6718 or stop by 1081 East 18th Street in Rolla to book your appointment today. We accept Medicaid, Medicare, private insurance, and self-pay on a sliding fee scale. Ring in the new year with a new smile from your community health center in Rolla. What's the fastest way for you to get yourself up to date on the latest in news, sports, weather, and obituaries that cost you absolutely nothing? It's Your World Today. Serving Salem and Den County now for over 20 years, Your World Today is four pages of information that will take you about five minutes to read, and they're available in over 30-plus locations in Salem and in Bunker. Your World Today. Pick one up every weekday. They're free. an update you that we have Blues Hockey back on the air tomorrow night. They will be in Columbus to take on the Blue Jackets at 5.30. And you can hear that game here on KSMO Radio. The first game back after a 10-day layoff, it is the Blues and Columbus Blue Jackets. Our next game will be Tuesday night when the boys take on the Mountain Grove Panthers here at the high school gym. We'll have that game for you here on KSMO Radio. And we'll also have Blue uh, Missouri Tiger basketball uh, joined in progress at the conclusion of that game. So we'll be listening in for that as they'll be playing, I believe, Texas A&M on uh, that night. So we'll be Missouri after boys basketball next Tuesday night. Again, that will be joined in progress. The game starts at 8, and our Salem Tiger game will start about 7.15 right here on KSMO Radio. Congratulations to Lady Tigers last night. who went to Ava and got a big win. Congratulations to Coach Jake Reardon and our Lady Tigers. We'll have more Lady Tiger basketball coming up for you next week as well. Right here on KSMO, I should say in two weeks, as uh, they will be on the road next week in Cuba and in Viburnum. And uh, wish them the very best in their stretch run down the way. But at the end of the season, that last uh, full week of basketball, we'll have a couple of Lady Tiger, or I should say we'll have Lady Tiger back on the uh, air, as we will have uh, more boys basketball as well. So lots of more basketball coming up the next couple of weeks right here on KSMO Radio. For Hannah back the station, for the Fidelity crew here at the high school gym, I'm Stan Stevens thanking you for joining us and hoping you have a fantastic weekend. The weather looks incredible after we bottomed out, you know, so cold on Wednesday. Nice to have some balmy temperatures back. Hope you enjoy the weekend. And, uh, again, uh, just, to, just have a great time with this beautiful weather we are anticipating. Until we talk to you again next week, have yourself a great weekend and a good night from the high school gymnasium. You have been listening to Salem Tiger Basketball on KSMO Radio and online at ksmoradio.com. Tiger Basketball has been brought to you as a courtesy of your community health center, K&H Auto Supply, Town and Country Bank, the Salem Memorial District Hospital, Country Mart, Farm Bureau Insurance, the Bank of Salem, Napa Auto Parts, Fairground Auto Plaza, Progressive Ozark Bank, Southwest Baptist University of Salem, Town and Country Insurance, The Common Grounds Bistro, Larson Collision Center, Commissioner Dennis Purcell and Family, The City of Salem, Tax Masters, Riverways Federal Credit Union, Duncan Family Chiropractic, 
Conway Construction, and your world today. Don't forget to join us next time for Tiger Basketball on KSMO and online at ksmoradio.com. KSMO, Salem.